from Community, Reno 911, UCB, The Midnight Show, and yeah. Spring Junkies. Ladies and gentlemen, Hal Rodney! <laughs> Excited to be here, Topher. Oh my gosh! Uh, I've missed you on Saturday nights. Stop. <laughs> yeah, we just spent a lot together. And now, what did you guys do on Saturday nights? Uh, I did tech for the Midnight Show, which if you guys haven't noticed, oh, and tournament and tournament and nerds. nerds. If you haven't noticed, that's how I've gotten all of our guests. <laughs> tech work. But then on off Saturday nights, uh, Topher and I would do uh, volunteer work downtown on Skid Row. <laughs> We sure did. <laughs> I'm a terrible actor. I'm terrible. Um, yeah, yeah uh, Hal was the guy that when uh, Tech Q would go wrong, he would just go, all right, do the gun shot again, Topher, do it again. I'm like, I screwed it up once. Why not try it again? And I would just mess it up multiple times. Wait, so, did I literally break I don't know, did I break character? Uh, no, that was in uh, Terminator Nerds. Oh, okay. There were several times that people would have bits. With sounds, oh, okay. they throw at me in the last five minutes. Oh yeah, no, a tournament nerds, I'll throw any oh, under the bus. Gosh, <laughs> I don't know if all of our audience knows the Midnight Show and tournament nerds. Why don't we describe the, the shows? Because people yeah. know uh, how great and awesome the, those yes. shows at UCB are. Oh yeah, uh, there, there are a couple of uh, long-running shows at UCB. Uh, the Midnight Show is a sketch show with uh, yeah, super fun uh, cast. We have a, a guest host every month. We just had Drew Carey, Ooh. and uh, yeah, and Drew, Drew Carey's hosted a couple of times. Yeah, he's we actually toured with Drew Carey. Um, he's super like, funny uh, too. Like a year and a half ago, super funny. Super Everybody in the cast iPads. What? Wow. Yeah, right. Fucking <laughs> uh, Price is Right money. You know what I'm talking. About? <laughs> um, but no, he's a super sweet guy. He um he, he flew us all up to Seattle on a private plane. What? Yeah, oh and God. the plane was like a bacchanalia. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's it like an orgy? <laughs> an orgy of the of pleasure for the senses. <laughs> <laughs> We drank and ate from places you shouldn't drink and eat from. <laughs> no, actually, though. No. <laughs> the private place. The like, yes. Uh, from the toilet. <laughs> now I know what it's like to be a canine. Uh, but, um, actually, uh, it was pretty cool. Like, so, um, we toured several cities in the United States with Drew Carey. He hosted our sketch comedy show, sort of a best of SNL style. And then, um, he came out and did uh, a half hour, 45 minutes of stand-up comedy afterwards. It was super fun. Um, so he flew us up to Seattle on this private plane. And uh, first of all, it was like there, he filled it with like all sorts of great food and uh, alcohol for us. And then um, as the plane was taking off, like there's no rules. Like a regular commuter. Yeah, like, the, the, I'll tell you what it means. Like, no you, didn't have to, you. you didn't have to wear a seatbelt. You could stand up during takeoff. And there was like this mini bar that was like a smooth wood surface if you didn't open it up. And I, as the plane was taking off, I, I laid on this mini bar and slid down the plane. <laughs> That's incredible. Yes. No rules. That's that's the yeah. entirety of Did the you, dream. But you have to yell no rules as the no rules happen, right? Yes, when you're on a private plane or if you're at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> no rules is right. I was just at Outback Steakhouse last week because every, um, uh, every year my friend and I bet uh, on fantasy sports and the loser has to buy Outback Steakhouse for the other person. <laughs> There's a fun fact about me. Um, uh, so uh, the Midnight Show is sketch comedy and uh, the Tournament of Nerds is a long-running show at UCB that I host with my good friend and recently met Married to the lovely Nikki Irvin, uh, uh, Justin Donaldson, and uh, it's basically uh, they're nerd debates: who'd win in a fight or who's more awesome, Batman versus Wolverine. But then it gets crazy. We have like you know Willy Wonka versus Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, I, say, I haven't been at a show where it's been anything that's not bizarre. Yeah, I've never seen Scott. Batman versus Robin. It's always like the, like the first one it was. <laughs> now it's like Ferris Bueller versus um, Johnny, uh, Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. What's, what's so, the craziest performance 
that you've seen at Tournament of Nerds. Was it Tim Chang? Be honest with you. Oh, well, yeah, Tim Chang bringing out, like, spraying you, beer everywhere. Who did he and play in he this? He puked. All, well, he, uh, he played Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think that was the one. And, like, his, so for some Dave reason, Tim his Chang. friend. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Was his, his friend came out naked. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it was just... Like like Steve Austin's friend. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. J.C. Coconut kept, like, daring him to keep... Because he never drank before, and he kept... Like tapping out beers, and she was like, "Do another one." I didn't see <laughs> yeah. So he would do that, and he just puked all over the stage, and it was it was awesome. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. It was, uh, it was yeah, just spit the beer out. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't actually like stinky vomit on the stage. It was just beer, but yeah, it was beer. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh but uh, it's a good time. Uh, yeah, maybe mm-hmm. you could see someone puke on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> That's a dream you all could achieve in life. But you're also doing this Screen Junkie show, which is becoming hugely successful on YouTube. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, it's, that's been a, a lot of fun. It's, I, um, how did you guys get involved so with that? Pleasantly surprised yeah, how about did you that. Get involved so I just uh, I basically auditioned for it. Um, like I went in and prepared some, uh, yes, yeah, a fan of auditions. <laughs> <laughs> um, a fan of the process. <laughs> Every audition. When you get to heaven, what would you like to hear God say? <laughs> You've got the part. <laughs> You've got the part. Uh, I audition, like, I, uh, and I've always loved, like, just, you know, movies and, uh, like, pop culture stuff and uh, ever since I was a kid. And I had to prepare, like, a couple of model, like, a couple of, like, rants about movies. And I went in and uh, had a few things. And that was, like, two years ago. And, uh, yeah, we've been doing it for, like, two years now. And we gone from like getting uh, a decent amount of hits back then 70 like 75,000 a week or so and now we're getting like uh, half a million a week and that much more so uh, yeah it's been great you yeah, also been do so much fun honest trailers right yeah Gosh. Uh, it's the same channel, and that's like the mega hit. Like, without Honest Trailers, there wouldn't be a Screen Junkies show that I host. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, like, and I, uh, like, once in a while, I'll pitch a joke or something for that. But basically, like, they're separate shows, but under the same banner. And we recently uh, started a podcast, which, oh, wow. um, which is also it's an hour long podcast. So it's a video podcast, right? Yeah, it's a video. So podcast. you can see it on YouTube. Yeah, you can see it on YouTube, <laughs> and like that got a hundred thousand hits. Uh, the video of it. And it's an hour-long thing. I didn't think like people like the internet might be the future. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're stretching. Like, uh, yeah, make some noise if you've uh, if you've uh, abandoned cable and you just like have like Apple TV and. <laughs> Um, whoever did not applaud, you're fucking sheep. <laughs> you're monkeys. And the cable company is the puppet master. <laughs> this podcast, it has a, it has, there's a theme to it. Yes, it's called Movie Fights. Screen Junkies Movie Fights. And it's, uh, it, it, uh, so basically, like it was stuff like, okay, let me ask you guys. Okay. Can I, can I have a movie fight right oh, here? All right. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll throw it to, out to both you guys. So it recently came out that Paul Feig, uh, or Kevin Feig, sorry. Uh, no, Paul. Uh, no, no, Ghostbusters, right? Yeah, Ghostbusters. Paul Feig, Paul Feig yes. yes. Um, oh, Kevin Feig runs Marvel Studios. Yeah. Okay. Their names sound alike. I'm sorry. Too many names. Okay. Um, uh, Paul Feig, uh, Feig Feig. I don't care at this point. Okay. <laughs> Is uh, uh, is rebooting Ghostbusters with Katie Dippold, UCB, uh, uh, um, and uh, should Ghostbusters be rebooted? Is this a sacred cow? Ghostbusters is my very favorite movie of all time. Yeah, uh, I think it's the only way they could have done it. Okay. I think uh, that doing a uh, a sequel, I don't think anyone would have been satisfied. I think starting the whole thing over, I think is the only way to really, you know, just uh, make it its own thing. Yeah. I don't think they should do them at all. I think it's they're perfect the way they are. Why can't we come up with original ideas? I don't if you want more conversations like this, download Movie Fights on iTunes. Screen Junkies Movie Fights. So, my favorite of all the videos you've ever done. Yeah. Not one you sent me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Shia LaBeouf video. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Woo! I almost died. So, if you guys don't remember, Shia LaBeouf did 
he was did an art gallery in LA. Put the bag over his head. Put the bag on his head. I'm not famous anymore. Yeah. And Hal Rennick went down to see what was up. Mm-hmm. Uh, How did that go? Um, it was pretty surreal, actually. Uh, so um, we wanted to get a camera in there, and they weren't allowing it. So I wore um, a glasses cam <laughs> and had a little microphone in the uh, like on the uh, uh, the bar, the frame, uh, the glasses. Were these Google and, glasses? Uh, Google glasses? Yeah. No, no. It was no. Di- actually they looked like. Uh, um, they, they, they look. Uh, they look like those uh, blades, those like uh, glasses that athletes wear. Oh. Uh, and the, so the super cool. So you, so super cool. cool in 1996. You went up to them. You said, "Can we take a camera in there?" They no, said, we, no. We you came back with them like they, really weird glasses. <laughs> And a trench coat. Basically, basically. And a trench coat on someone's shoulders. Uh, and, 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 yeah. Uh, these, these glasses, and uh, long story short, we got served. Uh, you got served? Yeah, dude, I totally got brewskis. Yeah! Uh, that, this is a real conversation that happened when I was in high school. <laughs> dude, I got served! Yeah! No, in that I had a fake idea. Uh, what's that? Was it a dance battle in that case? <laughs> oh, um, wait, well, yes, but usually I say, um, uh, bring it on, uh, I've already been brought in. <laughs> so, uh, so I wore these glasses in, and it was, and I, on the show, and I guess in real life somewhat, but, uh, like, you know, I'm pretty, like, you know, I, I make fun of things, and I have fun, and I'm like, you know, I'm a snarky idiot, and uh, I figure I have to be the same way if I'm sitting across from him, and I'm like, so I'm just like, ask him to apologize for Indiana Jones, uh, <laughs> Crystal Skull, and just proceeded to, uh, you know, say the things that we'd all want to say, and just ask him, why are you doing this? And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, and he was silent the whole time. And emotionless, but I could tell in his eyes, deep in his eyes, he wanted to punch me. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Oh, so you got served? You actually got sued for that? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, oh, oh my yeah, god. I thought that's what that meant. I was what he meant. I thought you meant you got sued. I oh no, 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 no. For it. no. Uh, oh, I got a lot of, um, I got a lot of hate online. Yeah. Like, uh, I, you know, I, I, I've realized because I've been doing internet videos for, uh, geez, uh, oh, oh, ten years or so, and um, I, and I've had like other ones go viral and get popular before, and I realized uh, hate's gonna happen. Yeah. People are oh, like, yeah. I had this one video um, that went up on HuffPost where I played a character who was frightened by Tilda Swinton. <laughs> <laughs> In real life, I think she's a delight. But this uh, this, this character, like that I wrote, um, was like she, she's a demon. Um, and people, when I got picked up by Huff Post, people were like, were like, how dare you make fun of this glorious woman, you sir? And like I, the two comments I remember, you are an ant with eyebrows. <laughs> And, um, and one more was, uh, you look like Ichabod Crane's idiot cousin, or retarded cousin, or I don't know. But, um, and so I, from that moment, that was years ago, I remember, oh, people were just gonna, people were gonna say shit, people were gonna mean you on the internet sometimes. And, man, so many people attacked me over this, because they, they thought, oh, Shia LaBeouf is, uh, you know, he, he, uh, He's such a sweetheart. Leave him alone. And I'm like, he's, I don't know. He's trying to reboot his like image or something. It seemed very uh, strategically planned. This thing that he did. And I have no ill will for. I hope he's okay. I don't wish anyone harm or like. I, I'm like, oh, I hope you're mentally ill and have no. I, <laughs> he opened himself up to this thing and he's like, come in and sit across from me. So uh, yeah, I just want to ask, what's going on? Uh, he's, his uh, behavior is unusual. I wonder. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys watched this, uh, you also interviewed uh, Robert De Niro and yeah. Morgan Freeman. Important question, is he, Robert De Niro is terrifying in real life as he is in the movies? Because I swear to God, I would pee myself. I can't imagine. Dude, it was, it was uh, absolutely a, a badge of honor that um, I got him to laugh. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, like, like um, in, the, in the video. Uh, so when, whenever for the show Screen Junkies that uh, I host, um, I interview a celebrity like I'm not like 
trying to toss them like you know the regular softballs or do a regular interview. We want to do something that's stupid and fun. So I went in and had uh, uh, for the junket of Last Vegas had De Niro, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Klein, and Michael Douglas read the lyrics of terrible pop songs, yes. and um, Morgan Freeman read The Fox. <laughs> like, what does the fox say? <laughs> and uh, Robert De Niro, um, who's probably the best actor of the bunch, gave, like, he did it, but he was a little bit of a half hearted performance yeah. of um, uh, Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted him to give it the De Niro passion, but, like, he's just like, um, you wrecked me, you, he was with his glasses, you wrecked me, you really wrecked me, you came in like a wrecking ball. You wrecked me. <laughs> uh, but Ke Kevin Klein was the best. Kevin Klein was the, uh, what the, oh, um, it was a One Direction song. It, oh, we'll call it Best Song Ever. Uh, but, uh, uh, but he was like, it was the best song. It was the best song ever. So Kevin Klein just killed it. Yeah. Uh, so we have some pop songs here for you. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> can't, this, this can't be a normal interview. Uh, so, have you ever done a video with a celebrity and it gone, you said something inappropriate or gone wrong or they had to cut something because they felt... Oh yeah, definitely. Um, well, I did, uh, I, thankfully I've had a, a fairly decent uh, success rate, but um, I was flown to New York for the Anchorman 2 junket and um, it was, it turned to a shit show what? because um, I had, like, I just realized I had too many bells and whistles planned because it was over the holidays so I wanted to make it the Anchorman 2 Screen Junkies Christmas Spectacular and I like was bringing music and games and gift exchange and decorations and um, the, uh, there was just too many moving parts to this bit and it really crashed and burned and like Christina Applegate was like she was like sitting across from me and she was sick she had like the flu or something and she's like oh I don't have to do anything do I? And the publicists were ready to pounce on me. And like, it just came out really terrible. Steve Carell hated me. What? Steve what? Carell wanted to drop kick me into next week. Uh, so we took you the. Were, we what took was the moment that you pissed off Steve Carell? Yeah, like, I don't know. I had this. Um, like, he was like, like, I, I was telling him what was going on. He was like, this is the bit and stuff like that. And, um, like I had, I did an act out where like um, he and Paul Rudd were uh, Joseph and the Virgin Mary trying to get into the uh, the inn on uh, the night Jesus was born, okay. and they were like, uh, um, oh, uh, Steve Crow was like, this isn't going to make fun of religion, is it? <laughs> I'm like, oh wow, uh, no, it's going to celebrate it, uh, but. <laughs> So we got all the footage, and it was basically uh, unusable, so we had to make it, uh, so we had to uh, frame the video with, this is how not to interview celebrities. <laughs> and we turned it into a fun a, video. So we have, we have a clip we're going to show? No. No, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Howard.